contemporary secrecy. A scientific miracle of electronics, radars revolutionized warfare. In the actual winning of the war, radar outranks the atomic bomb. This is the story of how radar works and what it can do. In the darkness, General Hulse's third fleet, in the final weeks of the Battle of Japan, steamed boldly into Tokyo Bay, guided the air forces use radar for all... Down there, the entrance to Tokyo Harbor. And here's the radar picture as General MacArthur will see it when he arrives with American occupation forces. To planes in distress, radar is aviation's greatest lifesaver. Returning from a bombing mission, fire the pilot's most dreaded enemy. Fire control equipment fails to do the job. The radar operator sends out distress signals. Back at the plotting center, the flaming plane is charted. Its exact position located on the map. Heading for a crash landing on the sea. Radar equipment's destroyed to keep it out of enemy hands. The last act before they hit the water. As the crew escapes the burning plane and takes to life rafts, Every man knows there'll be no need to hunt them over thousands of miles of ocean. Thanks to radar, the rescue plane heads for the exact spot of the crash. Riding radar to safe landings in the night or through the fog is one of aviation's greatest boons. It largely eliminated weather as a factor in Allied bombings that beat Germany into submission. The radio operator in contact with the field gets instructions to switch in on the radar wave. From here on, it's like riding on rails. The oscilloscope records the slightest variation of the plane from its course. The pilot can see for himself just where he goes off. That's the meaning of the very descriptive expression, you're on the beam. The result of American and British scientific cooperation, development of radar has cost Uncle Sam $3 billion, half again as much as the atomic bomb. It opens up for peacetime a whole new world, just as it revolutionized the technique of war and put the Allies on the beam to victory.